we're back at Heroes and Villains Fan Fest in California and we have tracked down Cupid herself, Amy Guminick. It's so great to see you again. How are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. It's great. Everyone is so welcoming and accommodating. It's been really fun. Well, it's um, interesting because Cupid obviously hasn't been a major character on Arrow, but it's definitely a fan favorite. Why do you think that is? Oh gosh, well thank you for that. That's so nice. Um, I think that, that not only is Cupid a powerful woman, but she's so dynamic that she kind of plays the whole spectrum of emotions. I think that maybe she's not the most um, psychologically healthy or balanced individual. That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> um, there is something that I think everyone can identify with, and um, it's fun, and she sort of brings like a little bit of humor to kind of a dark world. She's absolutely brilliant to watch on screen, and you portray her really well. What's it like wearing that outfit as Cupid? Oh gosh, it's so fun. I said earlier in one of the panels, I feel like with Cupid in particular, my preparation is about 70%, and then putting on the outfit and the wig and getting strapped in um, and having the bow and arrow kind of does makes up the 30% remaining. Yeah. So it's so fun. It really transforms everything, the way I walk, the way I move, the way I talk. Um, so it's a gift to have the design team behind me in that way. And also, it was a little while between you, with us first seeing you on Arrow, and then you coming back in season four. Did you get back into the character role quite easily? Yeah, you know, I was nervous about that, actually. And I kind of rewatched the first few episodes and... Um, to remember what that world was like and what it felt like and and then walking on to set and putting the costume on again it kind of just came back. Well one of the things that you mentioned on the panel that fans were interested to hear was you described the um, Olicity wedding and how you felt about that. Can you tell us about that? Yeah that was a really interesting experience and that that scene in particular was one of those that um, occasionally on set magic just kind of happens and that was one that we had read over this scene together and we had rehearsed it and blocked it but it really wasn't until the cameras were rolling and we were standing there staring into each other's eyes that all of a sudden it took on like a life of its own and became like very emotional and um, I think moved both Emily and I in a way that neither of us were expecting and so to be surprised is always I feel like a gift because so much of filming is um, very technical and predictable in a lot of ways so to be allowed to kind of just like go on this journey together and have another actor who's so willing to kind of jump off the ledge with you is so incredible and Emily is that person so it was so fun and, and definitely I think a, a day of filming that I will always cherish. You said you teared up a bit in that one. Yeah, it was interesting. The scene ended, the first take we did, they kind of let it just go all the way through it. Um, without direction and then the director was like okay well, let's go through it once and then if things need to be tweaked we'll tweak which is also a rare opportunity um, and we did it and I remember turning and a few of the producers were on set that day and everybody was like tearing up and crying and it was kind of this like giant love fest um, that I think kind of caught us all off guard a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. Well, speaking of love lives, I mean, Cupid's is certainly interesting. And she mentions in that episode that she has two loves of her life. So was that Arrow and Deadshot? No, it's an interesting question. Um, because actually, if we're going based on the comic books, there have been three. Cupid was married, or Carrie, I should say, was married. Um, and killed her husband because she thought he was cheating on her. That was a mistake. He was not, sorry. Um... <laughs> So that was something that actually I talked to the producers and the writers about a bit um, and kind of came up with my own answer to that question of why, why two? Why do I only say two? And I think that in the moment, seeing Arrow and seeing his love for Felicity, um, I chose to not put him in that. Um, and I don't really think that I had realized the connection that was there and the strong love that was there. And when I do see it, it's something that I don't really, I, I can't, I mean, as much as I would love to shake things up, um, that I, I kind of see like, this is where he is now. And yeah. I don't want to tamper with that too much. So um, in delivering the line, there's, you know, things happen so quickly on camera when you actually air it. But um, in filming it, I took kind of a long pause and like made the decision to sort of free him from that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, people love to keep it with Deadshot as well. It's kind of a crazy, cool couple. So crazy. <laughs> 
What do you think would have happened if he hadn't died? Although we don't know if he's really died, but what would you think could have happened next for them? Oh my gosh, craziness, adventures, mischief. Um, it's probably good for everyone that that didn't end the way the way that Cuban wanted it to end. Um, I think the two of them would get into a lot of trouble together and have so much fun doing it. Well, we would l really hope that we see you back on Arrow. Is there anything that you would hope to see in the Cupid storyline be shown on the show? Um, so much. I think that there's a whole world for Cupid that we haven't explored. One of the things that I was really sort of taken aback by and excited about was the... Um, Cupid's past that really is pretty deeply explored in the comic books. Um, I would love to find out where she came from, how the Carrie Cutter to Cupid transformation took place, why. Um, so I think there's a lot of backstory that would be really fun to see and play. Well, Deadshot got a flashback, so maybe Cupid can get a flashback episode. I think that would work pretty well. Absolutely, I'm down. <laughs> well, I really hope we see that. And thank you so much for talking to us. And uh, enjoy the rest of the convention. Thank you too.